today in biology we are going to study about the circulatory system the circulatory system is also known as the blood vascular system or cardiovascular system because it consists of blood blood vessels and the heart look at this picture this is the heart and this blue and red color tube like structures are called blood vessels let us discuss about the blood in detail blood that flows through the blood vessels transport gases nutrients and wastes from one part of the body to another that's why circulatory system is also called body's transport system blood is made up of four components they are plasma rbc wbc and platelets what is plasma plasma is actually a fluid and mainly consists of water 92% of it is water let us talk about another component of blood that is rbc these cells are disc shaped which means they are thin flat and round in shape and it is formed within our bones it is mostly filled with hemoglobin what is hemoglobin hemoglobin is an iron containing protein which makes the blood its red color that's why our blood is red in color we will discuss about another component of blood that is wbc these cells are colorless and larger than rbc they do not have definite shape but can change their shape like an amoeba the number of wbc is less than that of rbc what is the function of wbc wbc defend our body from infection which means it protects us from germs it's one of the component of blood they are minute which means they are very small and formed within our bone what is the function of platelet platelets help in clotting up blood which block the flow of blood from damaged blood vessels now you can look at this picture this is rbc this is wbc and this is platelets wbc is larger than rbc platelets are very minute we'll discuss about blood group now there are four blood groups a b ab and o blood group ab is called universal recipient and blood group o is called universal donor people with blood group ab can receive blood from all groups and they are called universal recipient and the people with blood group o can donate blood to every one that's why they are called universal donor blood transfusion what is blood transfusion the process of receiving blood is called blood transfusion those who receive the blood is called recipient and those who donate the blood is called donor before blood transfusion blood groups of donor and the recipient must be matched we'll discuss about blood donation and blood bank now what is blood donation it is beneficial for healthy adult to donate blood every 3 months because our body can regenerate blood within a few days a donor can donate blood at any hospital or any donation agency where the blood is stored such a storage of blood is called blood bank blood bank can supply blood who need them by donating blood we can save many lives we will now discuss about the another component of blood that is blood vessels what are blood vessels blood vessels are tube like structures through which blood is carried to different parts of the body there are three types of blood vessels they are arteries veins and capillaries arteries carry oxygen rich blood that is oxygenated blood from the heart veins carry deoxygenated blood that is oxygen poor blood capillaries capillaries are the smallest blood vessels they connect the venules and the arterioles we will discuss about the heart now which is the most important part of the circulatory system the heart is a muscular organ and it is located in the chest between the two lungs heart is the pumping organ 
of the circulatory system and it is made up of special muscles which are called cardiac muscles. Heart pumps blood to different parts of the body. This is our heart. Heart is enclosed by a protective sac which is called pericardium. Look at this picture. This is our heart and it has four chambers. The upper two chambers are called auricles which are also called atria and the lower chambers are called ventricles. This is right auricle, this is left auricle, this is right ventricle and this is the place for left ventricle. Between these chambers of heart there are flaps of muscles which are called valves which prevent the backflow of blood. There are four types of valves. They are tricuspid valve, this is tricuspid valve, this is bicuspid valve which is also known as mitral valve, pulmonary valve, this is pulmonary valve and this is aortic valve. Tricuspid valve lies between the right auricle and right ventricle whereas mitral valve or bicuspid valve lies between the left auricle and left ventricle. Through this valve blood passes freely from auricle to the ventricles and it cannot flow back to the auricles again. Now we will talk about pulmonary valve and aortic valve. Pulmonary valve pumps blood from heart to the lungs whereas aortic valve pumps blood from the heart to the different parts of the body. Now we will discuss about the circulation of blood. How do blood circulate in our body? Look at this picture. This is heart and oxygenated blood from the lungs through four veins enters the left auricle. This is left auricle. From there it flows into the left ventricle. This is left ventricle. From there it is pumped to the artery. This is artery. From this artery, it circulates throughout the body. Now, deoxygenated blood is carried to the right auricle by two veins and it reaches the right ventricle and is finally carried to the lungs by two arteries. In this way, circulation of blood takes place in our body. Let us talk about heartbeat and pulse. What is heartbeat? The contraction of heart muscle is called heartbeat. During each heartbeat, two sounds are produced which are called lub-dub. Doctors use an instrument to listen the heartbeat which is called stethoscope. Our heart beats 70 times per minute which means our heart beats 70 times in one minute. We can count our heartbeat by feeling our pulse. In this way, you can count your heartbeats by feeling our pulse. Look at this picture. In this way, you can count your heartbeat by feeling your pulse. This is an instrument which is called stethoscope, which is used by the doctor to listen the heartbeat. What is blood pressure? The pressure exerted on the walls of blood vessels by the circulating blood is called blood pressure and this blood pressure is measured by an instrument that instrument is called spigmomanometer look at this picture this is spigmomanometer how can we keep our heart healthy we can keep our heart healthy by doing adequate exercises like playing outdoor games jogging cycling swimming etc Adequate rest and relaxation are necessary for good health as well as for healthy heart. Smoking, chewing tobacco and drinking alcohol can harm the heart. These substances can lead to high blood pressure as well as heart problems. That's all for today children. I hope you all understood this chapter. Now I want to give you homework. Your homework for today is you have to read this chapter thoroughly and draw the figure 6.4 from page number 48.